Hey guys, welcome back. I don't even know which episode this is. Let's see here. Uh, load. This should be it. All right, looks like we're starting day 14 today, episode 14. I don't remember where I left off, um, but I just got home from work and I wanna play some Satisfactory, so I'm gonna jump right into it. <coughs> I had some goals written. Uh, new copper floor, I definitely wanted to do some stuff with staters. And I definitely need to overclock my machines more. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm too close to everything. I've been playing games where you can zoom out more and uh, I just need, I want to zoom out. Let me just zoom out. I can't. Alright. See, I took a took a little bit of a break from playing Satisfactory to play some uh, Valheim. So the Mistlands update came out, and so I've got a server I'm playing with a friend on, and uh, so that's been taking up a little bit of my time. But I want to, um, yeah, I want to build a, a copper floor because I need to figure out what I'm doing here with the um, space elevator. I'm pretty sure it requires a lot more uh, than what I have, so let me make sure all my machines here are working. Okay, this is good. The sheets are automated, so that's fine. I'll need to bring more plastic up here. Uh, I'll need to make some more computers and some more uh, heavy modular frames. And then if I go down one floor, let's see here. Mm. Uh, that works. These machines are all doing diddly squat. And why is that? Because they're not receiving something. Staters. They're not receiving staters. Uh, the stator box is empty. Well, let's fix that and throw some staters in there. And then down here, this machine is doing nothing because it needs more reinforced iron plates. So I'll just throw some more in there. We'll worry about the math on that later. As long as these are all producing something, I'm happy. Uh, let's see. So copper. So I need to be making more staters, uh, which means I need to be making more pipes. Which I think in turn means I need to be producing more steel. Wow. Is my steel... My steel's not even on that floor. It's this floor. Okay. Well, the production isn't on this floor. Production's over yonder. Right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so pipes. Is it just that I'm, how many am I producing? 20 per minute and I'm using 15 per minute. So I just need to steal. Man, does the math work out for me to, let's see, I got a quick math, quick maths. So this is, consuming some over here. This machine right here. Or I should say these machines are consuming 48 uh, steel beams per minute. But I'm producing uh, 60. So let's see. If I, take, if I take this and I just crank it down to 3 per minute, that gives me an extra um, <coughs> An extra 48 ingots per minute. Um, that's going to start overflowing here. And if I just build a constructor... Oh, I need plates. Whoops. 48. Yeah, I think I could just totally... Yeah. Yeah, that should work. Come on, there we go. 
Let's grab some of these. One, two, three, four, five. I think I need to put more plates upstairs here. So let's go here. And I'll just put, let's see, I put 171 in. So one, two, three is 471. And yeah, let's just, we'll just overdo it a bit. I'll have extra plates, that's fine. Smart plating is used in other stuff eventually, I think. So let's just skip that for now. Uh, I've gone too far. All right, let's do a constructor right here. Doing steel pipes, and I've cut this down to, yeah, okay. No power, hello? Okay, and then this. Just need another one of these. Unless I did the math on the wire to be to come out perfectly for this. Which I think I might have done. I don't remember. Either way, um, I can get rid of this blueprint designer for now. And I can clear up the space here, I believe. Yep, don't need that there. Oh, interesting. A lot of space right here. What can I use this space for? Let's get more copper eventually, right up above, and then I have it sent back down here so I can uh, make another assembler up here. assembler based on that. Oops. Okay. slightly off. I didn't notice that earlier. Whoops. Okay. Whoops. Whoops again. Okay. Resume. And then I'll get rid of this belt. And I'll do a merger. like that, and I, I hope this works. Uh, oops. Run that straight in there, and then this angle should... No! I just want it to look pretty. Okay. Alright, the pipes come in here, and then I'll have to add copper. Right here on the on the yeah okay so lift hole there and this will build uh, what is this building industrial parts stator. 
power source? Power source. Will it reach? No. Alright, uh, power source, power source. Yeah, sure. We'll do that. Ha 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 ha. Okay. <clears throat> and go upstairs again. Whoa. Alright, so how does the copper work here? It comes out of here. Is it overproducing? That is the question. So 20 per minute. Plus. Wait. 30, 30. And. This is making cable. Do I need this cable? I think I do. I think this is like part of the math, right? For the cable that goes down there. I think, I think this is tuned precisely. Okay, so I just need more copper being smelted. That seems to be the solution here. Can I do that? I just overclocked those machines, right? Yeah, okay, I need to overclock copper. And really I should just be smelting over there at the source and then moving it over to here. Um, Cause ideally you wanna move. Um, the fewest amount of materials possible. Uh, in which case, copper is just one to one. Um, or to bar, or, or to ingot, whatever. Um, so you would wanna, yeah, you'd wanna smelt those, or not. Like, you have a, and you have a choice. Depends on where you want your, your smelting to be done, and in this case, I think, I'll just build over there and then have it move over here. Uh, straight into more machines. I could take these smelters out of here. Oh man, I don't want to rip these all out because I, you know, I like them. But I think I'm gonna have to rip them all out and then just have more stuff being made here. So let's see, power slugs again. Here we are again, the great power slug dilemma. Um, but for now, Let's do this. Let's take this out of here and add a splitter. Uh, right about here. That is gross. Gross clipping right there. I don't like that. Nope. You're coming out of there. Uh, two. There we go. And then I can. Can I do? No, I can't. I gotta move this. Oh, that's the input. Whoops. I messed up again. Okay. There we go. Splitter coming out of here, straight into here, boom, okay. Shroomp. All right, and is this just sending the excess forward? Excess, excess overflow is going to the left? Ooh, I don't, I don't know about that. I guess it's fine. We'll find out. Alright, so that should be fueling. Whoops. Both machines now. Let's go up here. Okay, so that one has a steady stream, and this one has. Oh, hello? What? This one has a steady stream as well. Uh, and then these pipes. Oh wait, these stators, rather, need to be headed somewhere. And 
out somewhere, I believe, is down below. Let's take a peek at that. Here? No. Is it here? No. Where is. Hmm, I'm so confused. This place is getting too big. Ah, it's this floor. Right here. Alright, so this is where I'm supposed to have staters coming in. How many are getting consumed? 2.5 per minute. 7.5 per minute? How many am I making? Well, okay, so I'm consuming 7.5 per minute downstairs, and then here, I'm only consuming 4 per minute. So, 11.5 per minute is the total requirement. I think I'm making 10, right? Whoops, hello. I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do manual loading. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come up here, too far. I'm gonna drop down here. Set up a box. I'll just do that, and then let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the pause button here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the pause button, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, two minutes. I lost two minutes there. Sorry, I had to I had to run to the bathroom. And also take a sip of this. Uh, oh wait, it's not sponsored. Never mind. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's see how many how many things did I get? I got thir wow, that was quick. All right, thirty staters. Sneak these into this chest here. Bloop. Um, and I think, I think the move right now actually is just to um, <clears throat> use coupons to buy staters, so I don't have to worry about them like immediately. I can just fill the chest with staters. So let's take my coupons, go to parts, just because I really don't want to think about this for a minute. So. Let's check my production here. 12 coupons. Uh, I don't want to use all of them, but I'll use I'll use some of them. So parts. Do that. Buy all. Yes. Cool. Put these in here. And I go throw these staters in the in the box. Oh, there's that thing where it uh, stops me from using C again until I alt tab. Here. Boop. Okay. Alright, so copper and smelters, and I'm just gonna build a thing over there, but I need some more slugs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open Firefox. Go to the satisfactorycalculator.com and click interactive map and then 
load my save. Let's see. Load up day 13. I really should have this on screen while I'm doing this, because this would be a lot less boring. I'm just talking about... Okay, it's loading, it's loading, it's loaded. Okay, I'm alt-tabbing again. Let's see. I just need to find where the slugs are hiding. Get rid of my fog of war. Where are the slugs? Where are the purple slugs, more importantly? Is there... There's a purple one I haven't gotten. It's in a cave? Yeah, that's probably not happening. Okay. Where's this one? 116 meters, 231 meters, 108 meters. Okay, so right around... Let's see. <clears throat> Looks to be... Let's see, this... This is not the same map that I have online here. Okay, it's, it's right around here. There's a slug here-ish. There's a slug here-ish. And there's another slug. That's like three slugs, right? Or three purple ones. So I'm gonna go slug hunting. Um, should I bring a jetpack? I think I should bring a jetpack. Honestly, do I have... Have I made that? I haven't made that. I researched it, right? I can make a jetpack. You know, this episode is all over the place. Uh, yes. Eight packaged fuel. It's idle. Why is it idle? Hello? Oh, because I need canisters. Yes, I need canisters of oil. Uh, let's go down here and get some more. Ah, oh, what a beautiful factory. Is it a factory if it doesn't have walls and a roof? Alright, I need a better solution for this. Um, let's see. Organization, storage container. Right there. Get rid of this. Do a smart spot. Oh, I'm missing the AI limiter. What? Can I make one? Can I make one? I hope I can make one. It's gonna be real awkward if I can't. AI limiter. Cool. And then smart splitter. Yep. Okay, to the right I'm gonna have oil, packaged heavy oil residue, and in the front I'm gonna have overflow, and I'm gonna connect that right there, and then boom. It's working. And actually I'm gonna crank that up a little bit. Get all that through there. Hell yeah. Seems to be a bit backed up. Let's just take some out of the machines. Boom. Yep. I'll take that. That's clearing all out. <laughs> there go all my coupons. Alright. Uh, let's see. I'll take that. 
take. Oh wow, okay, that's quick. That's filling a quick. Okay. Well, I'll just take those. Those are good for now. That's gonna fill up, and then I will come back later. It'll start sinking eventually, but for now, that's uh, that's how I want it. So this is gonna need, how does this work? Yep, okay. So I'll need a storage container here. Why can't it just be a nice elbow, you know? Anyway. So it's producing 40 per minute, and then this is consuming 40 per minute. Let's, uh, how do I, how do I fix that? Consuming 40 per minute needs to be math 26.6 repeating. Yep. Cool. Math which is producing 26.6 per minute. So this can go down to 26.6 per minute. Cool. Let's check power consumption. Perfect. Excited. This is exciting. Uh, why is my versatile frames? Is it not going up? I feel like it should be going up. I also haven't been watching it really. I just kind of uh, expect it to not be going up. Let's see. Versatile frames. Where are those being built? Is that happening down there? No. Do I not have a line for those? I don't. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I'll just ignore that for now. Whatever. I'll work on those later. Alright. Copper. Yeah, jetpack. So, going slug hunting. Need jetpack for slug hunting. Got it. Back on track. Uh, where do I build? Jetpack. I need one of these. Jetpack. There it is. Fifteen circuit boards. Hmm, if only I had 15 circuit boards. I'll just whip those up real quick. my plastic. What am I doing? Do I have more? Yeah. Wait, are you saying my jetpack is made of plastic? That sucks. Okay, jetpack acquired. Boom. And I don't have any fuel, so I can't do anything with it. 
Oh wait, I have fuel. I'll take that. Thank you. Wasn't it just at 100? How did I use three? Oh, did it go in my jet? Yeah, I went in the jetpack to refuel it. Okay. Well, I'll take those. Time to go slug hunting. Uh, what do I not need to bring with me? Probably a lot of this stuff. Let's see. Well. Yeah. I'll just put some stuff in one of these. Don't need any of these. Probably don't need any of these. Uh, uh, concrete come, might come in handy. Don't need all of this. Okay, let's go slug hunting. You gotta just feather it. You just feather the feather the gas in this thing. All right, where am I going? Going here-ish. Let me zoom in on my map here. So one of these is at, or two of these are at roughly the level we're at. <clears throat> Let's see. One of them's like right here. Can I do a um? No. Is that spiders I hear? Oh no, it's just that thing. Oh, hello guys, what's up? Yo, peace. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, modular frames. Hell yeah. Might as well try to grab this drop pod while I'm here. Uh, needs 10 black powder. Well, never mind. Oh, but I'll take these circuit boards. Ha. Missed me. Oof. Yikes. Alright, I've gone too far. So there is a purple slug over here somewhere. Like right around here, right? Yeah, like literally right here where I am. Where is it? Excuse me? How do I figure out what my altitude is? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> there they go. All right. So somewhere in here. You look at that. I'll take that. Wow, okay, and that cave goes over yonder. Alright, so I'm at 108 altitude right now, and then, oh, spider. Is this the only way out? Is this, like, climbable? How are you supposed to get in here in the first place? It's not climbable. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to, like, the first time you- Ooh, that's weird. That's- What is going on over here? That's crazy. Um... 
Yeah, I have no idea how you're supposed to naturally get in and out of this place. But I imagine you just go deeper and then there you find an exit over here. Yeah, okay. Alright. So you're just supposed to, like, find that. Okay. Okay, the next one is here. I imagine that one is actually up on top of something. I'll run it up and uh, run, run it back, as it were. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Hm. Oh, doggo, lizard doggo. All right, so this is This is the bridge where supposedly there's another... Hey, there it is. Cool. Gotta be careful because I can see my... Yep, my jetpack thingy is getting dangerously low. And then after I grab this one, I'm just gonna sprint over here. Just because I want to get away from that. Hey, what's this? It's the old Superman summer sleep. Alright. So this, uh, somewhere up here, I think, there's another, another thingo. This is cool. Alright. Oh, that's poison. No, thank you. This is really nice right here. I almost want to, like, just build here. This huge watery area. Oh, wait, no, I know where this is. I know where this is. I built here once before. Okay. Yeah, 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 this is just... Might as well do a little map reveal here, get a little off track. This is the lake. That's, yeah, that's a great spot to build. Oh, hello. see a yellow slug. This was a uh, fortuitous. Totally didn't mean to uh, to even come over here. But that's cool. All right, well, I'll take that. So, uh, yeah, this is a this is a big old lake right here. But uh, right now, I don't really care about it. There's actually a couple purple slugs nearby, so Let's see if I can find one. I believe there is one at the top of this thing.
I also feel like maybe there's like a fire spitter or like radiation right up here. Oh, this is not, this is not a purple slug. Hello? Uh, purple slug, where you at? Oh, there, <laughs> I'm in the wrong spot. There is no purple slug here. The purple slug is right there in the middle of all that. And then there's another purple slug. Oh, and there's a yellow one right there. There's a purple slug down here somewhere. Okay, well, I'm going to leave all this here because that's fine. Alright, so that purple slug, that's going to be mine. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, jeez, that's rough. Can I get that without dying? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, you know what I can do, though? I can save the game. save if I die. Let's, uh, whoosh, whoosh, radiation. Give me slug. Nope. Couldn't get it. Well, you know what they say. If at first you don't succeed, load your game. Let's go for it again. Alright, give me the slug, give me the slug, give me the slug, got the slug, getting out, getting out, getting out. Got it, cool. Okay, took a little a little radiation damage. wasn't that dangerous. Radiation's uh, a little spooky, but not when it's just, you know, stuff that's out on the ground like that. Okay, there's a yellow slug right there. Um, but before I even get to that yellow slug, I should have a purple slug. Uh, let's see. I got the one that was over here. There's another one. Apparently. In this area. supposed to be like right here maybe it's in a cave there must be a cave nearby Well, there's a cave nearby, there's the entrance. Okay, well that's a that's a quest for another time then. Let's see. Next purple slug. Actually on top of a tall thing. Okay. It's on top of that, I believe. Right up there. Well, let's run in through this. Jeez, that does so much more damage than radiation. Okay. Can I go over it? Yep. Cool. Give me this. I'll take that. All right, then I'll get out of here. The music's gone. It's crazy. It's the weirdest sound bug. All right, give me these. Yes, yes. Put that there. Nom nom. Okay. So I need to get that one. 
I wonder, yeah, I bet I could just get there more easily from being up here first, and then just do a huge jet jump across. Whoop. Whoop. Okay, there is, I see the slug. That was not a good jump. You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. That was a decent jump. Oh, it's under rocks though. Can I get to it? That is the question. That's really sketch. Yikes. Okay. Oh, and that might be lethal damage. Ho ho. Okay. Well, all right, I'm gonna give up on that one for now. I really need explosives. Uh, let's see. Go back to um, Purple Slug Gang. Over here. There is... There's one up here somewhere. And that's where I'm going next. That's a lot of crabs. The terrain. What is that? Yo, are you seeing this? Hello? Is this some sort of Easter egg? Songs of Conquest boombox tape? What? Is that a physical thing? I'm so confused right now. I don't know what that is. This is crazy. Okay. Well, anyway. How do I get on top of this mountain? Where am I? What am I? Uh, I feel like I've been here before. Whoa. Hello. Uh, hello? Jump? Crouch jump? Oh, the, it's just slanted just enough so I can't. Okay, there we go. Purple slug. Big dude. Oh, he's going to run right off the edge trying to get me. Oh, no, he's not. He's too smart. Alright, well. Getting the hell out of here. Peace. Okay, so. Let's see. Slugs on the way home. There's one over here. I didn't see it. Let's see. Uh, 60. Okay, so it's it's actually way lower than here. Alright. 
Is this 60 meters? Pure Caterium. That's good. Uh, it's 109. Okay, so this is way lower. Okay. collect the remains from this one? Yeah, must have. Must have. Okay, well I have five purple slugs. That's uh, that's a pretty good haul. Uh, and I got those two. I mean, there's one purple one that's in a cave. Uh, over here somewhere. And I bet you the cave entrance is here. So I guess that's the last one to grab. What? Yep, I'll take that. Weird place for it, but you know. I don't know if that was a uh, worth. I think I took more damage than the mushroom thingy saved me. Okay, so there's definitely a cave. <laughs> hmm. Of some sort. See what's going on down here. Hmm. See now this. This is way up in the air. All right, this is negative 20 meters. All right, I guess this gives a good reference. So it's gotta be like, actually up here. This must be the neutral. Zero meters. I think. So... Just, it's in here. Can I see it? Can I get to it? Hello? Alright, because this one's a purple, so it's like worth. Bro. Brother.
Probably like in man, I really need explosives. Okay, next time. Man, I only got <laughs> I only got twenty seven power shards out of that. That's a shard per minute, so that's not awful. Could be better, could be worse. Could have a mod, could make them. But now I can pretty much overclock everything. Oh, 29 actually. All right, look at, look at all these power shards. So many. So I can fully overclock nine machines with this. Which I think is more than I can. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't use three shards per machine. I would only use two. Uh, because of my current belt limit. So, copper, copper and smelting. Uh, let's see, production smelter, where you at? Where you at? There you are. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this guy, and I'm gonna go 480, boom. And then, I'll go I'll go Mark IV, boom. Now that's doing the straight 480. So this guy can come out of here. There we go, now I'm still getting my 480. Am I? No, I'm not. This needs to be Mark IV. And then this needs to be Mark IV. Now I'm getting my full 480. And it's still not even using all of it. All right, so now I can take this and this out of here. Take this out of here. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, I'll go down here. This is fine. Let's see, what did I do wrong? Oh. But you can guess what's going here. Not this power line, that's for sure. In 
fact... That's good. And then this. Let's see right here. Smelters. 480 smelters is uh, two floors worth of smelters. So, blueprints, floors, two floors. Let's do. Steel. I'm out of steel. I ruined it. Boing. Boing. I'll take that. And I'll take that. Well, the good news is now I don't have to take fall damage pretty much ever again because I can always just press the space bar right before I hit the ground. Pretty much. Alright, so I need smelters. Well, also I need a buffer layer, so... Buffer layer. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it is. Okay, so I have to get rid of this. I have to add it over here.
All right, eight smelters. The input, yes, it is cool. Seems good. Iron plates. All right. Iron plates. I'm also missing staters again. So I'll go check on that situation. What is this thing doing? Oh, it's just short on wire. I'll right, we'll take these staters out of here. some stuff. Wow, I'm almost done with the um, <clears throat> modular somethings, right? Nope. What are they called? What are the uh, these other space parts here? Adaptive control unit. Okay, I'm almost done making those. Which is cool. Well, for this phase. And then I can ditch those should be done with those in about 10 minutes This one making the things? Yeah. Okay, so this will legitimately run out of materials uh, when it's done in just a bit, and then I can switch this platform over. But, alright, I got my plates back to copper. I'm just gonna check the back. I think these are already connected, right? So I don't have to worry about those. Cool. This is just gonna smelt all the copper. And I'll just need to route it away. And 
probably up. Okay. So I need a splitter. Sure, all these belts connect here. Yep, cool. All right, and turn all these on. How is my power consumption doing? That's eh, all right. No power problems yet. Four times sixteen, only adding yeah, sixty-four. That's fine. It's totally fine. Okay, half of that's going here, and the other half is going up. I think even if this went over by like 500, I would have an hour to solve the problem. So, so that's all gonna work out. Um, now I just have to route these upward. The question is, Do I make materials out of them here? Or do I feed materials to the tower? And I kind of like the idea of just building here. But I also like the idea of making a really tall tower, but right now I don't have the um, hover pack, so it's really hard to navigate the tower. Uh, so I think building here makes sense as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and connect these. And so now I have... Uh, I have a little mini tower. And it's gonna, I think it's going to stay. I think it's just going to stay like that, and it'll be fine. Um, and then, but through this wall here, let's do this wall. Yeah. Now remember, you can hold the control key to change walls out uh, for walls of different types. So, yeah, because it wants me to build, then if I just hold control, it covers it. Yeah. All right, I don't need that. So through here, I'm going to have 480 uh, copper ingots, just straight through. Uh, and I guess I can build this up on the floor above, right here. So that will, yeah, that'll work. So we'll go ahead and run this right now. Oh no, I 
I've made a grave mistake. Have I? Have I made a grave mistake? What if I do this and then I go to here and then rotate twice and then lift? That works. Cool. That's also not going to work. Actually, no, it, it'll work. Uh, no, it won't. I'll lift it. gonna go. Here is fine, I guess. And then I'll have it switch over to face this way. Boom. Okay. And space bar. Oh, wow. Still took damage. Alright. So from here, it'll run to here. But of course it can't reach, so I have to actually build this here, then I can connect that, it's just the right length now, and this should be able to reach here, okay. Alright, so now that's, that's perfect, and come over here and hook this all up. So I'm gonna have two um, layers of smelters moving up here and I want to see how they turn out of this thing so I think if I put this here yeah I could just have that turn right into there which means I can probably do a lift hole right here. And then Let's see how where was that? That was right here. I would do a lift hole there and a lift hole here. And a merger here. this to here and spin it to there do this to here boom okay and I can get rid of this and I can bring uh, this lift to here uh, let's see how's it going that way so I want it like this then I can drop to here and boom connect that to there It's working. It's working. Four eighty per minute. There we go. I 
think it's 480 per minute. 30 times 16, 48. With a zero at the end, 480 per minute. Now I just have to figure out what to do with it all. Hmm. Okay. And that was only... Oh, it's not 480. It's not 480 because I haven't overclocked the machine. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All right, let's get rid of this thing. Whoop. Okay, and if I wanted to throw them all away, I could just do one of these. But I don't, so I won't. Does one do with 480 copper per minute? Oof. Okay, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a little tricky here. I got to do a thing. Logistics, conveyor floor hole. Please snap. So that's all well and good. I have no idea how much I've contradicted um, all my previous plans so far, but I think we're doing all right. And I just noticed my space elevator thingy. Uh, so I'm gonna go to the awesome sink here. I'm gonna stick this right here. I'm gonna connect this to power. Oh, I can't. I'm missing cable. Wow, how did I run into cable? Anyway. Uh, let's jump all the way down here and tap spacebar two, three times. No damage. Cool. Take some cable. Whoop. Boing. Boing. One more time. Almost. There we go. All right, and then I'll just, uh, oh, I can't afford that. Yikes. Oops. Okay, well, these are not the containers I want. I forgot how much stuff I've built here so far. Where is my... Where the steel gets made. What happened here? Hello? Excuse me? No power? 
Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Okay, it's my concrete. Okay. Whew. Alright, this must be. Yep, cool. Oh, that looks so nice. Alright, I'll take those. And I'll come over here. Get some some verticality here. Climb that. that's not doing anything it should be this one yes cool it's uh, this is retired now and so this should also be retired which is planned uh, that was making circuits we'll get rid of that we'll get rid of those and this and this cool Um, and actually, I don't. Yeah, I don't need these anymore. I don't need this. I'm gonna have crates everywhere. I don't need any of these machines anymore. Right? Yeah, I don't need any automated wiring because I did all the automated wiring stuff. Okay, so all these machines can come out of here. Uh, which means that I have a bunch of stuff I can sink, right? Because I don't... Yeah, all this wiring can be synced. Sank? Sunk? Um, for now. So... Yeah, I guess I don't need that. That. I need to clear out some bag space, though. So let me go down here again. This is what I want. Here we go. Uh, wait, what am I? Let's talk some stuff away. Let's find my my sturge. Uh, this one? Yeah. Okay, so let's store that and that. And these actually only have one purpose. Uh, let's do alien remains. Let's make protein. It's time for some bag cleanup. Uh, if you need to take a coffee break, now is the time. Uh, okay, power shards, so hide that. Containers. Okay, done with those. Biomass. Uh, don't need to wait. Yeah, get rid of these leaves. Get rid of this wood. Oh wait, no. I'll do that over here. I can automate that. This is the wood one. Okay, nope. That's wrong. That's wrong. What are those taken? 60 per minute? Alright, wood. And then throw my biomass in there. Throw the rest of my leaves in here. Throw my flower petals in here. Alien remains. 
Oh, look, coupons. Wow, cool. All right, done with the biomass. Don't need to make any of that. Ooh, a high-speed connector. Okay, don't need to do anything else with any of this. Uh, so I'll go ahead and store my bauxite. Store some of these modular frames. Store those. Uh, let's see, what am I, I'm missing some stuff I feel like. What do I get from this? I get inventory slots? Three inventory slots, yeah. That's all right, I guess. Does this give me any no inventory slots? Okay. Current milestone, fabric, rubber, plastic. Well, okay, let me just do that. And then, do I have rubber here? Nope. Do I have fabric? How do I make fabric? Whoops. fabric. Alright, now I get rid of this excess biomass. There we go. Steel ingots. I can ditch those. Where'd they go? There they are. And yeah, let's see what happens with the automated wiring. It takes it. Cool. Oh, whoa, damn, okay. Yep, that's cool. It's worth a lot. Okay. Alright, yep, let's go get the rest of it. Well, first I want to check on the engine thingy here. So this is... Using, oh yeah, I've got rubber right here. Not enough of it though. Let's take all the rubber in here. And. There we go. Alright, let's just sand that. Three inventory spots. Cool. Milestone reach. Gas masks and filter parts will ensure increased odds of survival in gas-based hazardous environments. Fixit Incorporated would like to extend the friendly advice to not forget to change filters regularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is producing all the motors that I need. And this is... Oh, and the extra ones. Nice. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's that's fine. That's just automated. That's going to keep going forever. That's cool. And now I can repurpose these machines uh, for versatile framework. Uh, which means that all this cable's got to come out of here. So get rid of that and that. That. 
and whoops, and that. And oh, I should get rid of the source first. Here and just do that. I'll take all the cable right off the end of it. And this should have only the cable required to split, which is three. This has extra. And this has extra. And this can be a versatile framework now. So that's versatile framework, that's versatile framework, that's versatile framework, this should be a versatile framework, this one definitely is a versatile framework. Uh, and what do they need to be fed? Modular frame steel beam. <clears throat> steel beams, huh? Okay. And modular frames, modular frames. I make those. How many do I make? Yikes. Okay, so 2.5 per minute each, but I only make uh, 10, right? Where do I make those? I make those down there. Okay, so I only make 10. So, <laughs> so they're all actually all gonna be used. All right. Let's just do a little conversion here. Should have Yeah, cool. Oh, it pushed them all through. But these aren't smart splitters, I'm so confused. Oh, there were just more than enough. Okay.
Whoops. Whoopsie. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, oh, I can't actually do four of them, or five of them, so I can get rid of this last one. And get rid of these. I suppose, <clears throat> at the moment, I can just do this. I can do a organization storage container, do one of these, and just empty that. And that should just take all of, yeah, take all that right out of there. take a look at this and see how this is going to feed into the machine. So I've got this carrying nothing. Um, and this still faithfully producing my modular engines. So that's fine. Uh, and then this will be producing my frames. Boom. All right. <clears throat> now I just need to route steel thingos to right there. Uh, oof. Except that I think I've just lowered the amount I'm producing. It's okay though, because I'm going to come over here and add more of these. Uh, not more of these, more of... Where's my steel? My steel's right here. Cool, more of these. All right, so 45 per minute. So with 10 of these, I can do 450. And I have six of them. I need to add four more smelters. Obviously, I can't add them right here. So where am I going to put them? Let's see, I guess they're going to have to go over here. Right? Or, I have to get more space efficient with smelters. Or foundries. Did I make, um, did I make one for foundries? I didn't. I did not do that. Uh, oh, I did. I did do foundry. Haha. 
can't afford. Can't afford. I could place it right here. That's so dumb. All right. Uh, what am I missing? Rotors and frames. Modular frames and rotors. I'm missing like two things. Okay. So I need to build... Like right there is where I want it to be placed. I don't know if it'll let me place it. I cut, gotta cut these trees down. Do I have biomass? I don't! Okay, I guess I'm not cutting these trees down. Guess I'm also not doing blueprints. So, production, foundry. I only need four, right? It's gonna stay right there, but let's see if I can get this to work here. Uh, yeah. And then that can't fit there, so it's gonna go here. And this can't fit here, so it's gonna go here. And then these just get moved back a bit. Yeah, this is getting all kinds of clustered. that as does that uh does that I think that covers those right and then this gets upgraded yeah this whole thing gets upgraded First, I have to go back to the this part. Let's 
so I've got iron. Yikes, that's visually unappealing. Okay. I do think it's pretty funny that I'm just kind of brute forcing these in the side of this thing. Alright, let's do... Oh, those are gonna have to move. Uh, I guess here is fine, actually. It's one, two, three, and then this comes out. And that comes out, and that comes out, and then it just comes out of here. And goes over into that. This comes out of here. It's gonna be 
steel. This is going to be steel. And steel and steel. Okay. Add it 180 per minute to the back side here. This will need to be Mark IV. That'll need to be Mark IV. This will need to be Mark IV. And I believe this one also will need to be Mark IV. gets to be four. Four, 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 four. This is three, this is three, okay. This gets to be four, this gets to be four. And that one. That gets to be four. That gets to be four. That gets to be four, this gets to be... Four fifty. Cool. So the iron is good now. I don't think it's bottlenecked anywhere, unless these are all full. Yeah, they are. Okay, cool. So if I connect. Oh, let's upgrade this. Ha ha. So then if I just stick one power pole in the middle here. Uh, I can't. I can't do that. Okay. So I'll stick this here. And then I'll stick this one here. Totally obtrusively. Alright, that can connect to this. That can connect to that. Jeez, that is not pretty. Okay, and then now the iron should be going at like full speed, pretty much. What is the bottleneck? It's that. So that's 180. Only needs that. Cool. Yep. Sweet. Alright. That iron's just going for it. Now the coal needs the same treatment. Uh, which means I need more. 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 I think that's really all I'm going to get done in this episode. Just producing more iron stuff. Which is totally fine. I've, I've lost my direction, but... Uh, I think it's fine. It's totally fine. I, don't, I hope I don't need more than 400 of these things. <clears throat> Just make sure the whole line is uh, 
max rank here. hook up the coal over here. So I gotta take this out of here, and I gotta put this in here. Okay, just need a Mark III for that. And for all of this. That'll do it, right? Both of those should just be running at like full speed, pretty much. Well, once these ones get around and start doing stuff over here anyway. Is that backed up? Hello? That's connected, that's connected, that's connected. That's connected. Is it connected? Yeah. They're all connected, it's just, oh, it's just not taking. Okay, four into four. That's a mark four. That's a mark four. And I'm just not using them very fast, okay. Uh, well, there's no reason to underclock any of these machines anymore. We're so gonna use them, dude. some of them over this way to automate the production of these. So now let's see. Well, I just bring them through this floor see where they come out. Right? I can do important? All right, so what's 450 minus 270? Uh, or how much am I using up here? I started making additional pipes, right? Yeah, okay, let me just count all this up here. 
So 30, 30, so 60, 60, 60, 60. That's 300. So I still have another 150 I can use. These each require 30 uh, steel beams per minute. What? And how much does each of these produce? Uh, 15. So I need four machines. Which is 240 per minute. Which is these four. That's all those four right there. I need all of those instead of leading into this thing. I need them leading over there. Yeah, so I don't need this here. But then what are these taking? These are taking 24 per minute, but I don't have that much available. So I guess here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to disconnect this. this over to here. That should do it. And I will pre-fill these machines. I guess I'll pre-fill them with modular frames as well, but this should be auto-feeding as well. Let's see, that's yeah, that's good. Why is it not eating though? Modular frames, yeah. It's just being weird. Okay. Is this one being weird? No, that's constructing. This one's constructing. Is this one being weird? Yeah. Why? Okay. Okay, well that's producing now. So that's good. And these are producing at 20 per minute. And I need 1,500, so 75 minutes. And this is producing at one per minute. So that's it's really just going to be 192 minutes before those are done. Uh, and I can get on to the next phase, which is going to be uh, two episodes from now. In, the, in episode 16, I will complete the space elevator uh, phase three, and that will allow me to unlock the rest of the technology currently available in update seven. All right, let's see what I can get rid of here. Just, let's ditch these and watch this explode here.
didn't really explode like I thought it was gonna. I mean, I guess it did. Maybe this will have a huge spike on the other end here. Let's see if it, uh... Hmm. Now, I wonder how often this updates. I wonder if it only updates, like, once per coupon, or... Something like that. I actually have no idea. But it's close. I'm just gonna sit here and watch it. Oh, wow! Okay. Those produce a lot of coupons. Okay, well the next one's gonna be in a, a while, so... I'll just go ahead and put these in here. 23 coupons. Let's get rid of all the base materials I don't need anymore. Uh, I think that's it. That's all I need to get rid of. Yep, cool. How is power consumption? That's the big question. At 100% battery, max consumption is over my battery limit. So something's not on, or a lot of somethings aren't on, but I think it, like most of it's on, right? That's uh, smelting at full capacity because I'm sinking it all on the other end. Oh, this is doing nothing. Why is this doing nothing? Hello? Is it missing rubber? Oh no. Rubber. I forgot something. And these are all making motors, right? But they I have I have automated motor production now, so I don't need these. So let me just take these out of here. See what that does to my power consumption. Okay, it brings it down a hair. Uh, yeah. Alright. And I think this is going to be a good place to end this episode. I'm going to go fill the, the rubber back up on the um, modular engine thing, and then I'll hit the old save button. What is this? Yeah, whatever. Uh, is it this container? I think it's this container. Uh, I'll take one of these though and uh, directly put that one in. Okay, that should be going strong. So 15 per minute. Yeah, that's fine for now. Okay. So I'm, I'm automating the versatile frames now to um, completion. I still need to, let's see. Still need to start doing circuit boards automatically, but I'm gonna do that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna do that at new factory when I move my factory out there. I feel like the biggest. So once I unlock phase four, I feel like the big move is going to happen, and I'm gonna start sending everything out to the ocean. Uh, once I get into phase four, rather. Um, 
and then I'll just be able to do like huge sections of building you know, way too many of a single item at once. I'll finish out my uh, my coal power, I'll have all those maxed out uh, Mark III miners, and I'll have 160 um, coal power generators and all the, the power generators up through here. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be so nice. I needed to make computers for this, right? So these are actually... No, I didn't. I needed to make computers for something. At least I thought I did. I don't have automatic computers right now. What is this building? Computers, which are going to this box right here. Oh, I have 100 computers, nice. What is this missing? Circuit boards. Okay, yeah. So I, I do need to build some circuit boards. Or I could just buy them. I have 12. Now let's do another computer. How much are circuit boards? Two hundred of them. Okay, okay, okay. I yep. Yep, worth it. That's another hundred computers. That's totally fair. Um, I'm gonna need them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save the game right there. We'll call it. Let's play. Day 14, save. Boom. 27 hours, 58 minutes. So 28 hours into the game. Still haven't completed phase 3. That's okay. That is totally fine. Um, yeah. Next episode, what do? I don't know. I guess... I stopped automatically producing these uh, indirectly, so I gotta. Yeah, I gotta go fix my encased steel beam production. Um, hmm. And I have to do. I think that's it. Encased uh, steel beam production. And then I just get to, like, mess around for a few hours. Um, sort of, like plan out. I could just build, I could start building the, um, the base floor for the mega factory out on the ocean. And that's, that's probably what I'll do, is just build a massive floor and then think about the, the logistics of everything and how tall my floors are going to need to be. I think I'm going to base it on the height of the manufacturer and just do, um, four foundations for everything. I believe this is um, four foundations tall. Let's see. Switch this to vertical. One, two, three, four. To get over the, uh, yeah, to get over the little indicator. So four foundations, uh, or sorry, it was four times. It's 16 meter. I'm going to do 16 meter floors um, in the mega factory, just so I can put manufacturers wherever I want them. Or I could just do um, specific like manufacturer floors uh, and run logistics to them. I'm going to have to think about it a lot. Um, it might even be a mix of the two. But mostly I think it's going to end up being modular. Um, modular building and sort of like a giant switchboard, you know, like running running the logistics from uh, designated points all over the place. Um, and then eventually, instead of being a switchboard, it'll be a smart switchboard, and I'll just have smart splitters on like every connection, controlling the logistics and the overhead and syncing all the excess stuff, but it's, uh, it's going to be a, a lot of planning before that, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the stop recording button, and I will see you guys 
in the next one.